actually, I was telling her, I did quite a bit of shopping while I was there because the store was so good. <laughs> Uh, so the first step for making eau de vie is that we receive fruit here at the distillery from the local growers. And when they're at the peak of ripeness, we crush the pears. Uh, the pears then are pumped across the room into our fermentation tank. And then we pump the fermented fruit mash into our little pot stills. These will hold about 60 gallons of the pear mash at one time. These are essentially double boilers. This is a water jacket here, and this is the copper pot that you know names this a pot still. Um, we put the pear mash in here, close the lid, light up the still, and a still run will take about two hours. And what's happening here is we're heating up that fermented pear mash, and the alcohol will start to evaporate up through the column here. And once it reaches the top, it then goes into the condenser portion of the still, which condenses that alcoholic mist back into a liquid. And then we get a little trickle of pear brandy coming out right here. And that's essentially how one makes eau de vie. You can do it with any fruit. We use only locally grown fruit here at Clear Creek Distillery. So in addition to pears, we will uh, make apple, blue plum, mirabelle plum, raspberry, cherry. Um, you know, we could use any kind of fruit that's grown locally. That's the process. I'm here with Steve McCarthy, owner and distiller of Clear Creek distillery products, um, eau de vies, brandies, fruit liqueurs. We don't make that pear aroma. The pear made that aroma. We try to capture that aroma by, by ripening the pear perfectly, by crushing it at the right time, by fermenting the entire pear in a mash, not adding any sugar, not adding flavoring, and then pumping the, the fermented mash of the pear into the still and Distilling is only possible because alcohol evaporates at 78 centigrade and water evaporates at 100. So when you heat this mixture, this fermented mash, at 78 centigrade, the steam that's going up in the still is a steam of pear spirit, which condenses and then you're done. It's all made here. We're in a warehouse in Portland. Um, you've got your stills, the barrel room, uh, your tasting room pretty self-contained. Unlike a lot of distilleries around the country, we make everything from scratch. We'll get a shipment of fresh cherries, fresh plums, pears at one end of the building and months later they'll go out the other end of the building having been crushed, fermented, distilled, aged if appropriate, proofed, filtered, bottled and labeled and put in a box. So we do it all right here.